And with that, we are going to start off the matchup between the Avery University softball team and the CNU captains coming today to Cougar Field. My name is Shane Mickle, and you are listening to the Averitt Sports Network. In this contest, number eight, CNU captains are going to come here to Danville, Virginia and face the hometown Averitt University Cougars. Taylor Sullivan on the mound for the Cougars. Nothing she hasn't seen before. She's pitched against CNU in the past and led her squad to a victory a couple years ago, but series at a glance, Averitt is 13 and 58 all time against the captains as the captains did win both meetings last year and the Cougars are one and three so far on the year. All four matchups have been played at home. Gonna be the fifth one here and the sixth today in this double header. So Cougars are definitely gonna be hungry with that one and three record after splitting yesterday with Methodist going eight innings and losing that game two to one, but taking game two against the Monarchs and then dropping both to the Pfeiffer Falcons early on in the 2024 season for the Cougars. So leading off the game for the captains is gonna be number two. It's gonna be Candace Slaw, the freshman out of Warsaw, Virginia. So the defense and Sullivan are preparing for the first pitch. Sullivan, the senior here, first pitch of the matchup is going to be hit there. And it's going to go off the glove of Rodriguez and Slaw is going to get a board there. Rodriguez not able to field that one cleanly. First pitch of the game results in a base runner for the captain. So early start here for their offense as Katrina Swan Another freshman comes to the plate from Vienna, Virginia, James Madison High School. Sullivan now second pitch of the matchup. See what has there as that one's going to be struck through the four hole. Looking for the out at second. There was Gates, but no avail. Two pitches and two singles there for the captains early on. Now it's going to be number 12 for the captains coming to the plate. That's going to be Katie Curran, a senior now. So two freshmen to lead it off and then a senior in the three spot for the captains. See what she can do here. Sullivan 0-0 count, third pitch here. That one's going to be called a strike on the corner. Good spot there by Sullivan. Getting ahead early in the count, very vital thing to do against such a good team that the captains pose here. Number eight in the country, Sullivan's second pitch, even better, another strike. See the spin on that, had the hitter guessing. 0-2 count here, Sullivan now. Runners on first and second, 0-2, no outs. Top of the first inning here, Cougars now. Sullivan firing, that one's gonna go wide. Little outside. Looks like that one might have been a changeup out of Sullivan or a drop ball. Looking to catch the corner of the zone, but now Sullivan, the one two count, looking right there. Not a bad spot, maybe a little low. Two two count now. Can't let the hitter get back into the count. Sullivan now has to challenge him here on this pitch. Sullivan's going to get a foul ball on that effort. Good competitive pitch there from the senior. Senior out of Timberlake, North Carolina. A lot of experience in the circle for the Cougars and using it today. So far in the matchup, finding some trouble, but gets the third strike there. Throw down. Going to be called safe, though, on the stolen base attempt. So a double steal there from the Cougar, I'm sorry, from the captains, puts runners on second and third with one out. As Caroline Pollock comes up, the senior. Four hole, looking to do a little bit of damage here. Senior versus senior matchup. It's gonna get a ball a little off the plate there, Sullivan. 
on that pitch. Definitely something that could have gone either way. A good spot from the senior. Runners on second and third. Sullivan fires the 1-0 pitch through the six hole. Left fielder Jones fires in the third. It's going to be runners on first and third as a run scores for the captains there. Caroline Pollock finds the first RBI of the day for both squads. Number four, Kendall Bentley is coming up to the plate. The junior shortstop out of Anassas, Virginia now with runners on first and third. One out. Cougars find themselves in an early deficit, but now need to damage control here. Sullivan's 0-0 pitch is going to be fired, and that's going to be called for a strike. Inside corner as a delayed steal is happening. Runner Sullivan's just going to let him take second on that effort, though. So now runners on second and third here for the captains. 0-1 count. Head coach Keith Parr for the captains. Definitely likes what he's seeing out of his squad early. As Sullivan's pitch is going to be called for a strike. 0-2 count. A little bit of a breaking ball on that one there. Going to fall in the zone. So we're going to have an 0-2 count with one out and runners on second and third. So Sullivan's 0-2 pitch. Wow. Right off the plate. Wanted it really bad there. Vital strikeout would have been. Sullivan now 1-2 in the count. Still ahead. 1-2 pitch fire. That one's going to be popped up. Out of play. A foul ball there. Important to get a pop out in the infield or a strikeout on this pitch so the runners will not be allowed to move anything into the outfield could provide a sack fly for the captains still a one two count here for Sullivan has all her pitches to work around with and gets that strikeout there looking a very important strikeout like I was just talking about now two outs So now number 43, Meredith Brickner coming to the plate. A lot of captains have seen the plate this inning. Sullivan trying her best to keep them at bay with runners on second and third here in the top of the first. Sullivan's 0-0 pitch is going to be fired in, and that's going to be hit up into the air, and Newcomb cannot get it. Two runners are going to score on the play, and the throw is over the head of the catcher as Brickner gets a two-RBI single and advances on the throwing error. So now it's going to bring up number 15. That's going to be Sammy Drew to the plate. A little bit of a visit there. Pitcher, catcher, battery. It's going to be Molly George meeting with her pitcher, Taylor Sullivan, after that. As two runs scored there. And it's going to be a pinch runner, it looks like. Number 11 coming in to run. For Meredith Brickner, and now it's going to be Reagan Lubby on second base. A little bit of a stoppage in play as the pinch runner is put into the record book by the umpire. So now Sullivan in the circle once again, down 3 nothing in the top of the first. Cougars offense is going to need to be firing on all cylinders here. It's going to strike called on the 0-1 pitch there from Sullivan to Sammy Drew. Now Sullivan here in the circle, 0-1 pitch with two outs, runners on second base. Going to get the swing and the miss there. So an 0-2 pitch now from Sullivan. 0-2, two outs, top of the first inning. Wants to get her offense in the dugout now. Number seven, the senior for the Cougars. As that one's going to be fouled off. Solid piece of hitting there by Drew. Just to be a little defensive.
Now it's going to be another 0-2 pitch here from Sullivan again with all her pitches to work with here. And she's going to get another foul ball there. Drew once again fighting off that outside corner of the plate. Runner on second here for the captains as they've created a lot of commotion here in the top of the first. Sullivan's 0-2 pitch. It's going to be fouled off once again. George could not squeeze it. It's tough there after such a foul tip straight back at you. Yet another 0-2 pitch here for Sullivan. 0-2, two outs, top of the first inning. 0-2 pitch fired. That one's going to be high. Can't get the swing on it. Looking like maybe a setup pitch here. Now a 1-2 count for the senior. Sullivan's 1-2 pitch fired in there and going to get the strikeout there to end the inning. So the captains do pick up three runs there in the top of the first. Cougars going into hit in the bottom of the first. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after the break. Back here on the Averitt Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle. And it's going to start off the top of the first inning here as the Cougars find themselves down. Score three to nothing. It's going to be McKenzie Newcomb leading off for the Cougars, the freshman out of Victoria, Virginia. As the first pitch is going to be off the plate there by number 28. This is Jamie Martin on the mound for the captains. Martin, the junior, out of Lorton, Virginia, in the circle. And her 1-0 pitch is also going to be called a ball. So 2-0, way ahead in the count here is Newcomb. So Martin's third pitch here, 2-0 count for Newcomb. That, that one's going to be called a strike. Fired in there from the junior. Two one pitch here for Newcomb. Wants to get on base at, in the leadoff role. Be able to get this offense sparking. Martin's pitch is fired in there. Fouled off there by Newcomb. It's going to be a 2-2 count now. She liked what she saw there and pulled the trigger on it, but could not get a good barrel on it. So now Newcomb in a 2-2 count. Martin here. Two 
Martin fires in as Newcomb fouls that one off to left field. All over it here early. Shortstop for the Cougars here. Seeing a lot of pitches. See what she's able to do here. 2-2 two -two count pitch. Going to be fouled off once again. Great at bat here so far. Seen a lot of pitches. Seen six pitches so far for number six. Megan Martin work for it. Sullivan is on deck. Martin here loading back and firing the 2-2 pitch up. Full count now for the freshman. Full count here. Big at bat for the Cougars offense. As fires that one in there. Newcomb fouling it off once again. The full count pitch. A lot of velocity on these pitches from Martin. See if she's going to change it up here. Just try and beat the freshman with velocity. Number 28 for the captains working on the mound. Martin against Newcomb here. Full count pitch fired in there. And M Newcomb is going to swing and miss on that. Great at bat though. Eight pitches for the freshman. So now it's going to be Taylor Sullivan coming to the plate for the Cougars. Strike out there from Martin to start out her outing in the circle. Game one here at Cougar Field. Oh, oh, pitch to Sullivan's going to be in there. And that one's going to be off the plate. See what Sullivan can do here. Ahead in the count, 1-0. Martin firing it in there. Sullivan looking for a bunt, and that one. It's going to be called interference on Sullivan, and the out will be called. A little confusing on that one. Sullivan was in the base path, but... Martin was making a play on the ball, so two outs will be recorded, and now it's going to be number 12, Cadence Woodleaf. Coming up to the plate for the Cougars. So Woodleaf at the plate here with an 0-0 count. Two outs, need to get something going with two here against Martin. Her first pitch is going to be off the plate. Good eye there. So now ahead in the count, 1-0. A lot she's able to do here in this three hole. Probably going to see a decent amount of junk pitches with no runners on. Woodleth is going to watch that one fall in. So 1-1 one, one count. Good pitch by Martin there to be able to find the zone. Would lift the freshman out of Oxford, North Carolina. Also on the volleyball team here for Avery University, but in the spring sees it on the softball field. So now her 1-1 one, one count and a swing and a miss there from Woodliff. A little bit of a hack on that one. Going to have a 1-2 count now. Needs to be able to keep this at bat going and the inning going for her squad. Keep Sullivan out of that circle as long as possible. And that one's going to be fouled off by Woodliff. Martin now way ahead in the account. Martin sizing up. Woodliff, one, two, pitch from Martin's going to be popped. 
Might go foul territory. First baseman chasing after it. Going to drop, though, in foul territory. So, a new life here for Woodliffe. As Brickner was not able to get there. Or the captains be able to make the play. A little bit in the Bermuda Triangle. Weird area for all three positions on the right side of the field. So the one-two pitch here from Martin to Woodliffe. It's going to be out of the zone again. Great eye from Woodliffe. Martin and her catcher communicating on the pitches here. Martin now 2-2 two -two count, two outs. Bottom of the first inning, pitch for her. It's going to go off of Woodliff, hit by pitch. So now Molly George will come to the plate for the Cougars, the catcher. Oh, and they're going to call Woodliff back. Into the box. I'm not sure if they're going to call it a foul ball or add a ball to the count. A little bit of a miscue on that one. So now we're going to have a full count. Yeah, full count here. Martin to Woodliff. Martin needs to execute here. And Woodliffe hits a dribbler. Might beat that one out. And going to be called safe. Little dribbler to number 13 there. The third baseman. That was Katrina Swan. Cleanly fielded it and got the ball over. But Woodliffe had just beaten that one out. So now Molly George is going to see the play in the bottom of the first. Catcher, the freshman out of Manassas, Virginia. Colgan High School. Against Martin here, 0-0 oh, oh, pitch, going to be fired in the zone, four strike one. Martin the lefty, a little bit of a different look here. Coming out of the opposite hand, more common in baseball and softball, people are right-handed, so every now and then you get that lefty, it's a little bit of a different look, have to make certain adjustments. 0-1 oh, count here from Martin, and George is going to hit that one. It's going to take a bounce, but the second baseman is going to make the play for the captains. That was number 31, Caroline Pollock, finishing off the inning as the captains win the inning, going into the top of the second. A score of three to nothing here. We'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after this. University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in? Starting the top of the second inning here on the Averett Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle bringing to you the contest between the Averett University softball team and the captains of Christopher Newport University. Captains leading here in the top of the second by a score of three to nothing. Taylor Sullivan in the circle for the Cougars. Fires her first pitch of the inning. And that could not be corralled there as that one's going to be tipped up in foul territory. George looking to make a play on it, but Sullivan now going to be ahead in the count. 0-1. Oh, 
First batter of the inning after the captains created some commotion on the base paths. A couple hits for them and a couple stolen bags led to three runs. Sullivan now 0-1 pitch fired in the zone. It's going to be a little dribbler hit back to her looking for the PFP and makes the play. Pitcher fielding play there for the first out of the inning. Sullivan now. Facing number nine for the captains, that's going to be Brooke Childress, the senior out of Chesterfield, Virginia, coming to the plate here at Cougar Field. Oh, oh, pitch from Sullivan. And that one is going to be flared out to right field. Gates under it. Gates has it. It's going to be three pitches and two outs here for Sullivan in the top of the second. Looking to make this a quick inning as number two comes to the plate. It's going to be Candace Law. So the lineup will turn over here in the top of the second inning. 0-0 zero, zero pitch here from Sullivan. It's going to be fired in there and Slaw swinging. Aggressive, fouled off. 0-1 here. Sullivan to Slaw. For the second time of the day. Slaw saw a single off of the glove of Angela Rodriguez in the first inning and is now going to look for that one and gets it up the middle. Slapping it up the middle on that effort. Getting on base for the second time today is Slaw. So now we're going to see number 13. That's Katrina Swan and another freshman here leading off. Sorry. Uh, those first two people in the lineup for the captains are freshmen, so showing the trust that Keith Parr has in his players is Sullivan now. 0-0 oh, oh, pitch. And that one's going to be hit in the center. Tough play there and caught by Zabik. Going to the ground on that effort, but we're going to have three outs and go to a bottom of the second here. In Cougar Field. As the Cougars will now be back at the plate once again. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network. Is inclusive, encompassing, inspiring. Averett University provides all you need for a future you deserve through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential with flexible online and on-campus programs like our newest programs in entrepreneurship and psychology with more coming soon with affordable tuition and 24-7 support. It all leads to you becoming a catalyst for positive change. Visit allaverett.com. Averett University, are you all in? Back here on the Averitt Sports Network, my name is Shane Mickle, bringing to you the contest between the Averitt University softball team and the CNU captains coming here today. Daily Field 4 doubleheader is number 28, Jamie Martin, in her second inning of work in the circle. 0-0 pitch there to Luckenball. Going to be in for a strike. Now ahead in the count, 0-1 is Martin. So now the 0-1 pitch from Martin is going to be called a strike. Looked a little off the plate, but catching that corner. So now looking ball going to be in a hole 0-2. 0-2 puts you in a little bit of a de more defensive kind of stance. Hitting Martin's third pitch to looking ball going to be up in the zone. Luckin' Ball, the sophomore 
First baseman out of Shelby, North Carolina, looking to get her offense started here in the second inning. Pitch here from Martin, 1-2. And that's going to be strike three looking there from Luckin Ball. And that's going to bring number 20, Hannah Jones, to the plate for the Cougars, the junior out of Knott's Island, North Carolina. Jones coming to the plate for the first time today against the captains. Martin now 0-0 pitch to Jones in the zone for a strike. Getting ahead in the count early is very key. Puts the hitter at a disadvantage statistically. Now Martin ahead in the count, 0-1, firing here to Jones. And that one is gonna be called low for a ball. 1-1 one, one count, one out here in the bottom of the second. Captains lead 3-0 after dropping a three spot in the first inning. Cougars still with a lot of time to claw back into this game. Here is Jones looking for a bunt. Finds it picked up by Martin. Thrown and going to pick up the out there. Jones looking for something cheeky on that effort, but it's going to be a called an out there at first base. So now two outs. Number 16, Angela Rodriguez coming to the plate for the Cougars. Rodriguez first at bat of the day for her against Martin. Oh, oh, count. It's gonna be called a ball off the plate. So now it's gonna be a 1-0 count here for Rodriguez. See what she can do here with two outs, no runners on for the Cougars. Cougars with one hit in the matchup so far off the bat of Cadence Woodleth. There's that one's gonna be fired in for a strike, so a one-one count here for Rodriguez. One one count here, Martin in the circle. Martin looking to fire. And that one's gonna be fouled off by Rodriguez. Good swing there. One two count here. Junior Martin looking to get her squad back in the dugout and get the bats rolling. Be a quick inning of work here if she can get it. And gets the ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop makes the play and the out as Rodriguez trips up on that one. But captains do get the third out of the inning. And we will go to a top of the third here at Cougar Field. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after the break. Everett University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in? Back here in the top of the third inning on the Avid Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle and Taylor Sullivan's first pitch of the inning fired in there for a ball to number 12, Katie Curran. So 
Sullivan so far with a 3.68 ERA. One complete game on the year as Curran gets that one laced into the outfield. For her first hit, potentially second hit of the matchup. So now it's going to be Sullivan facing. It's going to be 31. Caroline Pollock in the batter's box looking for the bunt. Scoops it up. Gets the catch. Throw to first. Going to be called safe. A lot of action, very fast there as the 0-0 pitch was bunted up into the air. Sullivan caught it and fired over to first base, not able to pick up the out, but we will have one out now in the top of the third inning. Runners on first as number four comes to the plate. That's Kendall Bentley for the captain. Sullivan, 0-0 count in the circle. Gets that pitch fired, and that one's going to be fouled off. Seeing you potentially looking to make something, something happen on the bases with a runner on first. A one pitch here from Sullivan. And that one's going to be popped up into the air. Runner is forced to free. Center fielder Zabik makes the catch. It's going to be two outs here. In the top of the third inning. So Sullivan with a couple good innings of work in the circle after the first inning where three runs were plated by the captains. Brickner now coming to the plate here. Runner on first. Sullivan 0-0 pitch fired in there. It's going to be called a ball. Wanted to get ahead in the count there, but it's going to be off the plate. So now Brickner with the advantage. That one's going to be off the plate as well. A little bit of a better pitch there from Sullivan. A little too much break on that one, though. So a 2-0 count here with two outs in the top of the third inning. Runner on first base, Sullivan. In the circle, 2-0 pitch is in and fired and fouled off there by Brickner. Two one count now for Sullivan. Brickner in the box, looking to do damage here. Sullivan's pitch fired in there. Brickner's going to get the swing and fouls it off. Sullivan now back even in the count at twos. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs here in the top of the third inning. Wants to get her offense back in that dugout so they can chip away here. Sullivan's pitch fouled off once again there. Looking like it was going to be a strike. Brickner, no choice but to fight it off. So now another 2 2 count here with two outs in the top of the third. Sullivan in the circle. Rearing back and firing and gets strike three to end the inning. Going to a bottom of the third to score still three to nothing in favor of the captains. My name is Shane Mickle and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Is inclusive, encompassing, inspiring. 
Favorite University provides all you need for a future you deserve through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential with flexible online and on-campus programs like our newest programs in entrepreneurship and psychology with more coming soon with affordable tuition and 24-7 support. It all leads to you becoming a catalyst for positive change. Visit allaverett.com. Averett University, are you all in? Leading off the top, I'm sorry, bottom of the third inning for the Cougars is going to be number 14, Shea Donahue. Oh, oh, count here for her as Martin fires that one in, and that one's going to be taken for a strike there by Donahue. Looking like it's going to be her first at bat of her collegiate career here against the captains. See what she's able to do here. Very exciting opportunity here for number 14. And that's going to be a swing and a miss there. 0-2 count for Donahue, the freshman out of Smithfield, Virginia. So now 0-2 count here. Martin in the circle looking to pick up a strikeout here. And that one's going to be off the plate. A little bit of run on that one. Not able to find it. Now it's going to be another 1-2 pitch here. That one's going to be up. A lot of velocity on that one, but not able to find it there. So 2-2 two -two pitch here from Martin. Fired to Donahue, and that one's going to be flared and a hit to right field. As Donahue picks up a hit in her first collegiate at bat there for the Cougars. Flared out past the first baseman, finding that pocket right next to the foul line. Going to be called fair. Now it's going to be number 17. This is Hannah Zabek coming up to the plate for the Cougars. Sophomore here. Out of Skiesville, Maryland. So now Martin's going to fire it in there. And Zabik gets the bun down. Play here from Martin. And she makes it as Zabik tries to slide into first. But still moves the runner over on that effort. So now it's going to bring up the leadoff hitter for the Cougars. Number six, Mackenzie Newcomb with a runner on second base. So Cougars with an opportunity to get a run. On the board here as they find themselves down by a score of three to nothing against the captains. New comes second at bat of the day here against Martin. Has already seen her once and saw a lot of pitches in that first at bat. So see what she can do here. Oh, oh, pitch fired in for a strike there from Martin. Newcomb didn't like what she saw on that one. Able to take a couple pitches. There's a reason you get three. So See what Newcomb can do here in an 0-1 count against the junior Martin for the captains. Pitch fired in there, and that one's going to be called a ball off. Off the plate there, 1-1 one, one count, one out bottom of the third here at Cougar Field. In this doubleheader contest, first game here between the Christopher Newport captains and the Avery University Cooper Cougars as that pitch is going to be called a strike. Looks like it might have hit the top of the zone. A 1-2 count here for Newcomb. Needs to get something in play here. Be able to advance the runner at least. Strikeout is the last thing you want to do in this kind of situation. 
Newcomb now one two count from Martin. That one's going to be up in the zone. Might have been a little rise ball there from Martin. A lot of pitches in her arsenal here. 2-2 two, two count. Can't afford to use all of them. Can't afford to lose the batter here with only one out in the inning. Martin now gets that one. And Newcomb's going to flare to right field. Missed by the right fielder. Donahue gets to third on the effort. It had to stay in case it was caught. But Newcomb picking up a double there. So now we're going to have runners on second and third here for the Cougars as number seven, Taylor Sullivan, comes to the plate. Strikeout is the exact opposite of what Newcomb just did there. And if you're Sullivan, you want to replicate that effort, be able to get at least one in here. As Martin now, 0-0 count, runners on second and third, one out in the inning, Sullivan. It's going to see the first pitch as that had a lot of velocity behind it, maybe even some anger. So now it's going to be number seven at the plate. Sullivan, a lot of damage can happen, but none on that pitch as that one's up in the zone. 2-0 count here for the senior. You know, being a senior, having seen Christopher Newport in your time before here, even beating them years ago, Sullivan knows what needs to be done and has the experience in this type of situation to be able to prevail. 2-0 count swinging, but it's going to be missed there. So still a 2-1 count, still ahead, still able to get the pitch that you want here. Pressure is on the pitcher. A little bit of issues with the pitch comm here. So now Martin in the circle looking to fire. Sullivan flares that one out. It's going to be a liner right to her at first base as Brickner makes the catch. Sullivan not able to get enough power on that one as we will have two outs now here in the bottom of the third. Runners on second and third here for the Cougars and number 12, Cadence Woodliff. Woodliff definitely wants to be able to get one, if not both of these runners in here on this effort. Pitch from Martin, and Woodliff takes that one for a ball. Good eye there from the freshman. one o count here for Martin. Behind in the count, Woodliff. 438 average so far, and a great piece of hitting there as fouls that one right back. 438 average and 16 at bats with seven hits, so definitely wouldn't be a bad time to add to both of those numbers here. 1-1 one, one count, runners on second and third, but a power pitcher on the mound for the captains. Fired in here from Martin Ball off the plate. 2 1 count now. Fired in here from Martin. And that one's going to be popped up into the air. The 2-1 pitch. Two outs in the inning. Caught by Brickner. So Martin and the captains get away from that inning with no runs on the board. Still 3-0 in favor of the captains. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be back with the top of the fourth right after the break.
Back here with the top of the fourth inning. My name is Shane Mickle. Back here on the Averett Sports Network as the Averett University Cougars find themselves in a deficit three to nothing here against the Christopher Newport Captains, number eight ranked in the country. Sullivan in the circle for her fourth inning of work as her first pitch is fouled back by number 15, Sammy Drew. So it's going to be a 0-1 count here for Sullivan in the top of the fourth inning as it's going to be number 18 for the captains at the plate. That's Malia Mahardy. Her second pitch is going to be called a ball. So it's going to be a 1-1 count in favor of the captains here as there's no runners on. In the top of the fourth for Sullivan, fly out to right field to start the inning. Sullivan's 1-1 pitch is going to be fired in there for a strike. 1-2 pitch now for the Cougars. Way ahead in the count. A lot of pitches to work with here for Sullivan as no one is on base. Can have some fun in this at bat. Sullivan's 1-2 pitch fired in there. Going to be fouled off by Mahardy. Great piece of hitting there by Mahardy, not letting it get by her. Defensive piece of hitting, should I say. Sullivan having a couple good innings of work after that first that let, sorry, got out of her hands. Now 1-2 pitch here fired from Sullivan. Going to be popped up in the center. Zabik makes the catch. Two outs on two pop-ups here for the Cougars. Childress. In the top of the fourth inning as Brooke Childress comes to the plate. Sullivan, the senior, like I was saying, had a couple good innings of work in the circle after the first where the captains dropped a three spot, but now her 0-0 pitch is going to be low in the zone. So it's going to be 1-0 here. Sullivan 1-0 in the count. Her 1-0 pitch rearing back and firing. Going to be called a ball up in the zone. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Looking to get her offense again into the dugout after having runners on second and third last inning but not dropping any runs. That one's going to be grounded to the shortstop. Newcomb makes the throw. And the Cougars... Will go into the dugout, into the bottom of the fourth inning, looking to get some runs on the board. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Back here in the bottom of the fourth inning as the captains find themselves up here against the Cougars by a score of three to nothing. 
Coming to the plate, first batter of the inning for the Cougars is going to be number 13, Molly George. As Jamie Martin still in the circle for the captains, throwing a shutout so far after a little bit of trouble in the bottom of the third. First pitch of the inning is going to be swung on and missed for a strike by George. Cougars trying their best to get something going last inning. One out, runners on second and third, but not able to chalk one on the board. So definitely going to be hungry after giving some adversity to Martin there. As George is going to fly that one out to right field, right fielder under it and makes the catch for out number one. That was number 12. That was number 12 there. Katrina, I'm sorry, Katie Curran making the play for the captains. So now we're going to have number one, McKenzie Luckenball, at the plate here for the Cougars. Luckenball 0 for 1 on the day. As first pitch from Martin is going to be fouled off into the woods in right field by Luckenball. So Martin doing a good job getting ahead early in the count. No base runners on for the Cougars, but one out. Jones on deck, looking ball at the plate. Martin looking to fire in her second pitch. And that one's going to be called a ball off the plate there by Martin. So even in the count is looking ball. Hitting 333 on the year so far. She, she, she sees a strike on the inside corner. Three hits and nine at bats with five walks leading the team here for the Cougars. The one two pitch here from Martin. Working around in the glove and the circle. Martin fires. Up in the zone there. Too much on that pitch there. Two, two, count one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Martin fires and Luckin' Ball sprays that one to right field and that's gonna get down. Fourth hit of the year for the sophomore. Good job getting the bats going a little early on in the bottom of the fourth, keeping them hot after last inning. So now Hannah Jones is going to come to the plate here for the Cougars. The junior tried to lay down a bunt in her first at bat, but was called out at first base. So see what she can do here with a runner on first. Martin, oh, oh, pitch firing to Jones. Jones swinging and missing. Almost a back pick attempt there by Mahardy, the catcher, but Brickner was not there. Oh, one count here to Jones. Martin working in the glove, working in the circle and firing it in there. Is that one's going to go low? So you got one out here. And the one one pitch fired low. 2-1 now the count here in the bottom of the fourth. Jones on the year is hitting 444. Four hits, all singles for the junior, but four walks for her as well. So on base percentage of 615, see what she can do here. Is that one's going to be swung on and miss as well. Ball's behind. I'm sorry, even in the count now. 2-2 two, two count, one out here in the bottom of the fourth for the Cougars. Martin trying to keep them at bay here in the circle. 2-2 two, two pitch to Jones. Swung on and miss. Going to pick up a strike out there. Are the captains. 
So now that's going to bring number 16. That's Angela Rodriguez coming to the plate here for the Cougars. With a runner on first and two outs. First pitch here from Martin is going to be swung on and missed. Might have been out of the zone, but Rodriguez aggressive early. Oh, one pitch here from Martin fired in there, and that one's going to be fouled off by Rodriguez. So now behind in the count, 0 2 with two outs. Against a power pitcher like Martin, not a spot you want to find yourself in as she's able to throw the junk at you as well or beat you with velo here. So Rodriguez needs to fight off anything close. 0-2 pitch, and that one's going to be flared out to right field, but going to fall near the tarp for a foul ball. Staying alive here in the bottom of the fourth, though, is Rodriguez in the Cougars. Waiting another 0-2 pitch here. Lucking ball on first after picking up a hit to right field. O2 pitch here from Martin. Fired to Rodriguez, and that one's going to be popped up. Looks like it's going to stay in, but falls foul. Out of play. So Martin now once again with another O2 pitch to Rodriguez. Martin now firing in the zone. Rodriguez, another foul ball on the 0-2 count. Good at bat here. Seeing a lot of pitches. Staying aggressive as well. O2 count, two outs, three nothing lead here for the CNU captains. Pitch fired in, and that one's another foul ball by Rodriguez. Three or four foul balls in this at bat. Eight pitch at bat, still an O2 count though. Forcing Martin to work here in the bottom of the fourth. Make her throw as many pitches as possible, potentially chase her from this game. So now Martin once again firing in there, and that one's going to be swung on and missed by Rodriguez. Going to a top of the fifth inning. CNU captains leading the Averett University Cougars by a score of 3 to nothing. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Averitt Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle, and we are finding ourselves in the top of the fifth inning of play between the Averitt University Cougars and the Christopher Newport Captains. Taylor Sullivan still in the circle. First pitch was a strike, so it's going to be an 0-1 count here to Candace Slaw. Top of the lineup here for the, the Captains. A Slaw. Is going to ground that one foul to the left side. So an 0-2 count here for her. 
been on base both times she's seen the plate today so Sullivan definitely wants to keep her at bay Slaw is 625 average so far on the season dangerous hitter at the plate slaps that one but it's going to go foul as well O2 pitch here from Sullivan to Slaw to lead off the inning. It's going to be a ball down and out there. And that one's going to be called strike three on the one two pitch there from Sullivan. First time getting Slaw out on the day. Now batting to number 13, Katrina Swan. So that's going to bring up number 13, Katrina Swan, to the plate again. Third time of the day seeing it in the fifth inning. Sullivan fires that pitch in there. It's not going to be called a strike, though. Very close pitch. 1-0 count in favor of the captains now. And Swan at the plate. 1-0 pitch is going to be fired in there, and that's going to be laced towards Rodriguez and caught. So it's going to be two outs here in the top of the fifth inning. Three to nothing score. Cougars and Sullivan doing a good job of keeping this CNU offense at bay after that first inning of play. So now it's going to be Sullivan on the mound. Sorry, in the circle. First pitch there. Not able to get that one on the plate for a strike. So now it's going to be 1-0 count here in the fifth inning with two outs of Work for Sullivan. And that one's going to be called a ball as well. Two zero count here for Sullivan. Needs to get back into the count here. And that's going to be swung and missed by number 12, Katie Curran. Curran unlucky on that attempt, way ahead in the count, very aggressive, knowing what she wants. Now 2-1 count for Curran. Sullivan's 2-1 pitch is going to be fired in, and that one's also going to be swung and missed by Curran. Sullivan at a 2-2 count now with two outs here in the inning. 2-2 pitch. And that one's going to be up, not able to find it. Full count pitch here, action pitch as well. Runner, sorry, no runners on base. But number 12, Curran looking to make something happen here on this full count pitch. And not able to fall in the zone, and that's going to be a walk. So Curran's going to find herself at first base and bring up number 31, Caroline Pollock. Now that Sullivan's 0-0 pitch here to Pollock. Going to be fired in. Called a strike there. Good pitch there. Way to get ahead early in the count here. Sullivan against Pollock. Looking to get her team once again in that dugout. Get the bats rolling. First pitch here from, sorry, second pitch there from Sullivan. Going to be grounded to second. Speed there, straight speed out of Curran. Getting there and being called safe at second. Newcomb looking to make the play at second base, but Curran was there before Woodliff. So now it's going to be a runner on first and second here for the captains of Sullivan. 
her first pitch to the new batter. It's going to be flied out. That was Bentley to Zabik, and that's going to end the inning here for the Cougars. Cougars finding themselves back on the offense side of things, down 3-0 here against the captains. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after this. Bottom of the fifth here. CNU captains against the Avery University Cougars and Shea Donahue at the plate for the second time today. First pitch from Martin is going to be called a ball. Donahue picked up her first collegiate hit in her first collegiate at bat last time against Martin. So let's see what she's able to do here in her second go around. Martin 1-0 pitch to Donahue. That one's going to be fouled off by Donahue. So a 1-1 count here in the bottom of the fifth inning. That one's going to be fired in by Martin, and Donahue gets called on the swing. So it's going to be a 1-2 count now for Donahue here with no outs in the inning. Lead-off hitter at the plate. Very important for Donahue to get on, but if you're the captains, want to get her out now to start the inning and pick up some momentum. Pitch here, 1-2. Donahue's going to swing and miss on that effort. Picks up the strikeout is Martin. It's going to bring up number 17, Hannah Zabik to the plate. So Zabik now at the plate after trying to lay a bunt down in her first at bat as well. It's going to be called a strike on the outside corner. A one count here for Zabik with one out in the inning. Want to get on base to be able to spark something with the leadoff hitter. Newcomb on deck. Martin firing her 0-1 pitch. Zabik looking for a bunt, but that one's going to go foul to the right side. Showing maybe a little too late there on that effort. Zabik at the plate. 0-2 count. One out in the inning. Bottom of the fifth for the Cougars. Need to get some offense rolling here. Claw back into this game as Zabik is going to strike out on that pitch. Two strikeouts in the inning for Martin. Kenzie, 
Number six, McKenzie Newcomb coming to the plate, the leadoff hitter for the Cougars, coming to the plate with two outs in the inning after two strikeouts by Martin for the captains. Martin's first pitch to Newcomb is also going to be a strike. Newcomb taking on that effort. So now Martin's going to look to fire in 0-1. That one's going to be fouled off out of play. So now an 0-2 count, and Martin is absolutely dealing this inning. Making the Cougars earn everything in the game so far. Martin on the mound, 0-2 pitch here to McKenzie Newcomb. Wanted it, but didn't pull the trigger. Is the freshman for the Cougars. So now Newcomb at the plate here. Pitch here by Martin, and that one's going to be fouled off way left. One two count here for Newcomb. Nobody on base with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Captain still leading the game three nothing after dropping a three spot in the first inning, but no runs since. Pitch here from Martin one two, and Newcomb fights it off once again. One, two pitch, two outs here, bottom of the fifth inning, and Newcomb laces that to right field for another foul ball. Good competitive at bat here from the freshman, seeing a lot of pitches on the day. Pitch here, one, two count off the plate from Martin. So it's evened up at two, two with two outs. In the bottom of the fifth inning of play between the Everett University Cougars and the Christopher Newport Captains. Newcomb. Doing a good job once again of fouling another pitch off. Martin giving everything she's got, but Newcomb fighting it off. The 429 average and 14 at bat so far. Not too many walks to her name, but does not strike out often. So see what's going to happen here is Newcomb. Strikes out, and that's going to be three strikeouts for Martin in the bottom of the fifth as we will go to a top of the sixth inning. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after this. It's inclusive, encompassing, inspiring. Averitt University provides all you need for a future you deserve through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential with flexible online and on-campus programs like our newest programs in entrepreneurship and psychology with more coming soon with affordable tuition and 24-7 support. It all leads to you becoming a catalyst for positive change. Visit allaverett.com. Averitt University, are you all in?
Welcome back to the Avery Sports Network. Is Taylor Sullivan firing in for her sixth inning of work here against the Christopher Newport captains? Ball on the pitch, so it's going to be a 1 0 count. My name is Shane Mickle, bringing to you the contest between the two teams. Sullivan's going to fire in there and going to be another ball off the plate. 2 0 count here for. Brickner. Brickner with the two RBI double early on in the game. And smacks that one to center field right to Zabik. Zabik camped. Zabik makes the catch. One out here in the top of the sixth inning of play. Sammy Drew coming to the plate for the captains here. Seen Sullivan a couple times throughout the game. See what Sullivan's going to do against her here. That one's going to be called a ball up there by Sullivan. So now a 1 0 count here to Drew. Sullivan's going to fire in there. And that one's also going to be a ball inside. Two zero count here for Drew in the bottom, I'm sorry, top of the sixth inning with one out. Pitch fired in there, and that one's going to be flared out to right field. Not able to make the catch, though, in foul territory. Gates or luck and ball. Two one pitch here. Sullivan on the circle. And that one's going to be a line drive to left field. It's going to get in the gap, and that's going to be a double at least for Drew. Stopping at second and picking up a double there. Good swing there from Sammy Drew over the head of New coming in the gap. It's going to bring number 42 to the plate. It's going to be Brenna Moorefield. Little stop and play for the substitution to be made. Moorefield getting her first at bat of the day in a big spot. Lefty righty matchup here. One out with a runner on second base for the captains. Sullivan still in the circle. Sullivan fires her first pitch. That's going to be called a ball low. Second pitch by Sullivan here to Moorefield. Moorefield looks for the bunt, but it's going to be fouled off of the net. One one count one out here in the top of the sixth inning. And that one's going to be off the plate as well by Sullivan. Struggling to find the strike zone here in the sixth inning. Moorefield in two one count here against Sullivan. Now looks for the bunt and that one's also going to be fouled off by Moorefield, putting herself in a hole now at two strikes. Sullivan looking to pick up a big strikeout here, 2-2 two -two count. 
And that one's going to be tipped up and fouled off once again by Moorfield. Two two count here. Sullivan in the circle. One out runner on second base. Strike three there from Sullivan. Big strikeout there from Sullivan. Striking out the pinch hitter. Now batting, number nine, Brooke and brings up number nine, Brooke Childress for the ca captains. Looking to end the inning here on this batter with two outs. Get her offense in with two innings left to swing the bats. 0-0 pitch to Childress. That one's going to be fouled off there. Straight back into the screen. So now it's going to be a 0-1 count here. Sullivan firing it in the zone. And that's going to be a ball up and out there. 1-1 one, one count here for Childress with two outs. Still a three-run lead here for the captains. Cougars not able to do much against the arm of Jamie Martin here. And Sullivan's going to get that one grounder to Woodliff. Woodliff makes the play, and that's going to end the inning. Going to a bottom of the sixth inning now, the Cougars... Find themselves down three to nothing against the captains. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Averett University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in? Leading off the inning for the Cougars here in the bottom of the sixth is the pitcher number seven, Taylor Sullivan. Coming to the plate in, against Jamie Martin in her sixth inning of work, putting up zeros against the Cougars. Ball off the plate to start the inning, so it's going to be a 1-0 count to Sullivan. Sullivan on the year, 455 hitter. Five hits and 11 at bats, one walk. So Sullivan seeing it well early in the 2024 season. Gonna have a 1-1 one, one count now. Sullivan 1-1 one, one pitch, and that's going to be skied out to left. Popped out, though, right to the left fielder for the captains. Now batting, number 12, Williams. Good piece of hitting there from Sullivan. Waited back, saw the pitch he wanted, but not able to explode on it there. Going to bring Cadence Woodliff to the plate here for the Cougars. Captain's pitcher getting her pitch right with the catcher. 
Martin's firing that one in there, and that's going to be popped right back to her, and that's going to get through her glove, and Woodliff will be on base. Once again for the Cougars. That brings up number 13, Molly George here for the Cougars. George looking to do some damage here with a base runner on. One out in the inning so far. Bottom of the sixth. Two innings left to work here for the Cougars' bats. And that one's going to be called for a strike from the pitcher for the captains, Martin. A one count here for George as Martin fires that in there, and that one's going to be fouled up and over the backstop. O2 count now here for George. In a hole early. O2 pitch here for Martin. It's going to be called ball low there. Good eye by George. So now George with a 1-2 count. One out here in the inning. Pitch in, and that one's going to be flared over the head. No throw made by the second baseman as that one's caught. George not able to get a barrel on that one. So that's just popped out for the second out of the inning. Now it's going to be two outs here in the inning as a runner's on first. And McKenzie Luckenball comes to the plate against Jamie Martin here in the bottom of the sixth. 0-0 pitch there fired in by Martin for a strike. 0-1 now in the count. Captain's pitcher, Martin, firing here to Luckenball. Luckenball is going to pop that one up in the infield, see who makes the play, and it's going to be caught there for the third out of the inning, going to a top of the seventh. CNU up 3 to nothing against the Averitt University Cougars. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back here on the Averitt Sports Network after this. <laughs> Starting off the seventh inning here at Cougar Field, Candace Slaw coming to the plate and Sullivan firing the 0-0 pitch. It's going to be slapped out to the shortstop. Great throw. Safe there. Slaw beats it out. It's the whole purpose of slap hitting right there, getting a running start so you can be able to beat those balls out. So Slaw getting it started, and now Swan coming to the plate here for the captains. Sullivan on the mound for the Cougars. Sorry, in the circle. It's going to fire for strike one. 
Ahead in the count, 0-1. Oh, Sullivan 0-1 oh, pitch here. And that one's going to be popped up to the shortstop area. It's going to be flung over to first base. Called safe, though, is Slaw. Luck and ball with a really good stretch. Great play there by Newcomb as well. Out on the play, though. One out here in the top of the seventh as Curran comes to the plate, the lefty. Looking to do some damage here. Sullivan 0-0, oh, oh, one out in the inning. That one's going to be off and throw down by George. Throw down by George is going to be off the mark, but I think Slaw had it stolen anyways. Some speed on the base path for her. Now Sullivan 1-0 count to Curran. That's going to be called a strike, though, on the plate. Great pitch there by Sullivan, finding the corner. One one count here from Sullivan fired in to Curran. Curran's gonna swing and take a miss on that one. So now it's gonna be Sullivan with a one two count firing to Curran. Curran's gonna miss and Sullivan picks up another strikeout there. Two outs in the top of the seventh here for Sullivan, throwing up zeros since the first inning of play. Trying to get her offense back in the dugout as Caroline Pollock finds herself at the plate here with two outs. Sullivan's 0-0 pitch is going to be fired in. It's going to be called a ball, though. Looking to drop in there but couldn't find the zone. One zero count here for Sullivan. In the circle, firing once again. Fouled straight back. Going to be back even at 1-1 one, one now. So now Sullivan in the circle once again. 1-1 one, one count firing that in there. And that's going to be a swinging strike there. 1-2 count. Big pitch here for Sullivan with her squad down 3 to nothing. Definitely wants to get back in the dugout and get those bats rolling in the bottom of the seventh. Now or never ending there for the Cougars as there's two strikes, two outs here. Sullivan fires. Sullivan can't find the corner there on that pitch. Almost had it. Sullivan looking ready to work here for the Cougars. Firing in the zone. Flared out to right field. Gates coming in. And that run's going to score as Gates mishandles the ball. And Pollock advances to second on that effort. Big pitch there for the captains as they tack another one on the board going up by a score of four to nothing on the single by Caroline Pollock. Ball mishandled out there and advances to second base. So two outs now for Sullivan in the inning still. As Kendall Bentley now comes to the plate for the captains. Sullivan's 0-0 pitch to Bentley. Called for a strike that there. Pitch going to be fired in here. 0-1 by Sullivan. And that one's also going to catch the zone for a strike. 
0-2 pitch now, two outs in the top of the seventh inning. Runner on second base, Sullivan in the circle still looking to get it and can't on that pitch. It's going to make the count 1-2 here in the top of the seventh inning. One-two pitch here from Sullivan's going to be back up the middle. Newcomb lays out, has the ball, goes four, and she's going to be called safe at home. Bang, bang, play as Newcomb up the middle, makes the dive. Runner gets sent. Good throw home, but George not able to get the tag down in time. Oberhelm and for the Cougars wanted to get a little explanation on that play, but... Runner looks like she might have gotten under the tag. Not going to lie there. So it's going to be a two spot in the seventh inning with two outs now. Captain's doing a good job of making something happen. Sullivan now in the circle. Oh, oh, count here with two outs. Throwing to Meredith Brickner. And Brickner's going to pop that one up to third base. Rodriguez under it. Rodriguez makes the catch to end the inning. Going to a bottom of the seventh score. Five to nothing in favor of the Christopher Newport captains. My name is Shane Mickle, and we will be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Everett University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in? Leading off the bottom of the seventh inning here for the Cougars is number 20, Hannah Jones. Facing the seventh inning of work from the CNU captain's pitcher, Jamie Martins. Jones swinging on the first pitch. It's going to be an 0-1 count now here for the Cougars. Cougars find themselves down 5 to nothing after two runs were picked up in the bottom of the, I mean, sorry, top of the seventh inning. Martin with an 0-1 count firing here to Jones. Jones looking for the bunt. Showed bunt, so it's going to be called a strike on the pitch. 0-2 count here for Jones. Jones showing bunt once again, pulls back and fights off the 0-2 pitch from Martin. O2 pitch once again, Jones showing, Jones pulls back and Jones fouls that one off. Once again, Cougars need to get the bats rolling here in the bottom of the seventh, pick up some runs and keep this game going and stay alive in the contest in game one of the doubleheader.
Pitch here from Martin to Jones, and Jones is going to flare that one foul once again to right field. Got an 0-2 count here to Jones. Jones once again going to pull back, and that one's going to be a ball down and out there from Martin. No runners on base here. 1-2 count. Martin fires, Martin can't get it. That one looked like a little bit of a screwball or changeup on that. A little bit of a breaking pitch from the lefty here. Two, two count here. Jones at the plate, Jones fighting it off once again. Two two count to Jones here. Jones once again showing Martin firing, and that one's going to be a ball down low. Full count here for Jones. Great at bat being put together here by the junior. Martin firing this one in there. Jones grounding it over. Third baseman's going to have it and. It's going to be called out. Jones looking for the safe call after the slide, but still going to be an out call. So now it's going to be one out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Angela Rodriguez to the plate. Rodriguez now against Martin here in the bottom of the seventh. 0-0 oh, oh, pitch. Going to be a ball low. Pitch here from Martin to Rodriguez. Rodriguez is going to lace that one up the middle. Picking up a hit here and some energy for the Cougars in the bottom of the seventh. Bringing up number 14 here for the Cougars. It's going to be Shea Donahue coming to the plate in the big spot in the bottom of the seventh inning. Working here against Martin in the bottom of the seventh. That one's going to be a called strike on the corner. Captains with a little bit of a security blanket. These two runs don't mean much since they're up by five, but looking to get this one done as quick as possible. Time called by the batter there. 0-1 oh, count. 0-1 oh, count here to Donahue. Donahue swings and misses on that one. Pitch here from Martin. 0-2 oh, to Donahue. Donahue swings. Strike three, two outs here in the bottom of the seventh and number 17, Hannah Zabik now coming to the plate as a last hope for the Cougars here, down five to nothing. Martin 
Martin in the circle here against Zabik. Zabik at the plate. Oh, oh, pitch is going to be called a ball down and out. One zero count here to Zabik in the bottom of the seventh inning. Zabik swings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Zabik takes there. It's going to be a 2-0 count now. Martin throwing up constant zeros here against the Cougars. See if she can finish this one off. As that one's over to Zabik. Lines it in. Caught by Brickner to end. The first game here of the doubleheader between the Averitt University Cougars and the captains of Christopher Newport University. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be back here with game two very soon here on the Averitt Sports Network.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Averett Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle, bringing to you the second game between the Averett University Cougars and the Christopher Newport Captains. Captains took game one against the Cougars by a score of five to nothing. And it's going to be Casey Stevenson on the mound here for the Cougars to start off the game. Number two, Candace Slaw trying to lay down the bunt there. But that one's going to be fouled off to start the game. Stevenson, freshman, in her third appearance of the year with two starts under her belt and a complete game with a 2.76 ERA. So Stevenson looking to add to that here against the number eight team in the nation. And that one's going to be grounded to Woodleaf. Sorry, Woodleaf. To start off the matchup, and that's an out there for the Cougars. Loud out there from Slaw. Number 13, Katrina Swan. Yeah, Katrina Swan up to the plate here for the captains. Big one-two punch from the captains in game one. Both getting on base. Stevenson holding the first one there. Stevenson not able to get that one over the plate. So we're going to fall behind in the count 1-0 here. Stevenson in the circle here for the Cougars. Her 1-0 pitch. It's going to be called a strike there. A little bit of a late reaction, but still got the call. So it's going to be a 1-1 count with one out here in the top of the first. Stevenson firing her second pitch, and that one's going to go up the middle for the first hit of the game there. Katrina Swan gets that one to go. That's going to bring up Katie Curran to the plate here. Runner on first and one out. Stevenson giving up that hit, but see how she's able to bounce back here. And that one's going to be laced out to left field in the gap. That's deep off the top of the fence there. The captains are rolling on the bases as one will come across to score. Off that hit by Katie Kerr. And captains take the 1-0 lead here in the top of the first. Big shot out there by Katie Kerr to deep left field off of the fence. Thought it had a chance of getting out. Ball just flying there. So it's going to bring up number 31, Caroline Pollock, to the plate. Captain's looking to keep the bats going early with one out here. Stevenson on the mound. Stevenson gets that one, and that's going to be fouled off to left field by Pollock. A little less of a power pitcher Stevenson is, more of a junk baller. Throwing a lot of different types of pitches, keeping hitters off balance. Opponents hitting 309 off of Stevenson. See what she can do here ahead in the count 01. And that one's going to be a ball off the plate. Looks like it almost caught the corner, but a little off. Stevenson now even in the count, 1-1, one, one, one out in the inning. And that one's going to be a little dribbler over to the shortstop. Newcomb, Newcomb looking to fake the throw and then get the runner at second base. I think she came off the bag. Might have been hit a little too light there. Newcomb wanted the out at second over first. Now it's going to be runners on first and second here. It's going to be number four, Kendall Bentley. Up to hit. Number four versus number four. Battle of the fours here between Stevenson and Bentley with runners on first and second. 1-0 count here for Stevenson. And that one's going to be swung on and missed by Bentley. Big swing there by Bentley. So 
So now Stevenson on the mound here. Sorry, in the circle here. Even in the count. And picks up the strike there on that. See what she's able to do here. One, two, count one out. Runners on first and second. A couple force outs at play if something gets hit. Stevenson, her pitch is there in stolen bag. She's going to be called safe there. Number 12, Katie Curran starts the double steal there. But the strikeout is picked up by Stevenson. Stevenson here in the circle. Two outs to play around with. First ball up, one to nothing in favor of the Cougars here. Sorry, in favor of the captains. Top of the first inning. And that one's going to be fouled off there by number 15. That's Sammy Drew. Shades of the first game with the captains early getting on the scoreboard. See what the Cougars are going to do here in the second game. Try and prevail past that. Stevenson's pitch. Stevenson's pitch. Looks like it was in the zone, but going to be called a ball there. Two one pitch here from Stevenson. That one's going to be laced and be called foul. Foul ball there called by the umpire. Potentially a big break there, though, for the Cougars as that one could have gone either way. A little beside relief there. Two runs definitely would have scored if that ball was fair. So a 2-2 count here for Stevenson. In the top of the first inning. See what she can do. And gets a pop up. And that one's going to go out of play. George not able to get to it. Stevenson now once again the 2-2 pitch from her. Two outs in the inning. Popped up over the press box. Had a good view at that one. A couple people in the press box jumped back from that one. Might have been a little fearful. Ball was going to hit them. But another 2-2 pitch here with two outs in the inning. Stevenson trying to get her offense going and picks up the strikeout. It's going to be three outs there, setting us to a bottom of the first inning as the captains pick up one run. And my name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after the break.
Starting off the bottom of the first here, number six, Mackenzie Newcomb coming to the plate for the Cougars as she takes the first strike of the match matchup between the two. It's going to be Kate Algier, sorry, Algier on the, uh, in the circle for the captains. So a battle of the sixes here and the battle of the fours at the plate. So some numbers going at it here today, looking for bragging rights. And that one's going to be off the plate there. Algier can't find that one. It's going to be 1-1 one, one count with no outs. Cougars do Sorry, Captains did a good job to get one run on the board. Cougars need to be able to pick up one and try and win the inning here as another strike will be called on Newcomb. Winning the inning is a big part of the game as that allows your team to have momentum for the rest of it. So see what the freshman Newcomb can do at the plate here. Pitch here, one, two, fouled straight back. <laughs> Newcomb there. Seen a lot of pitches from the CNU pitchers today. Needs to be able to get on base. Be a spark plug here for this offense. As that one's going to be popped up and go out of bounds there. Bottom of the first inning here. Leadoff hitter at the plate. McKenzie Newcomb first. Kate Algier. Algiers 1-2. That looks like that one's also going to be fouled out of play. Pitcher in the bullpen warming up for the Cougars. Hannah Zabik. As well as Abby Sutton was warming up in that bullpen last inning as well. Maybe just keeping some arms hot. You never know what can happen against such a powerhouse squad that is the CNU captains. Algiers, 1-2. Going to be swung and missed there by Newcomb. Strikeout to start off the game for the Cougars offense. Number seven, Taylor Sullivan. Going to swing it here at the plate in the two-hole. Number seven, Sullivan here. That one's going to be called a ball out. Sullivan, a dangerous hitter at the plate. Three years of collegiate experience under her belt and a 455 record to go, I'm sorry, 455 average to go along with it. So far here in the 2024 season. Sullivan, Big swing there ahead in the count, but now going to fall back even at 1-1 one, one with one out and one run. One's all over the scoreboard here in game two. As that pitch will be swung on and grounded by the third baseman, throw over to first and... Sullivan will ground out for the second out of the first inning, bringing number 12, Cadence Woodleaf. Cadence Woodleaf to the plate here. Woodleaf found the base pass a couple times in the first game. See if she can keep her streak going here. Sorry, Cadence Woodleaf in the box here. First pitch she sees up into the air. And the play is made by the third baseman to end the inning here. Captains win the inning by a score of one to nothing. Going into the top of the second, we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Averett University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in?
Leading off the top of the second here for the captains, number 22, Isabel Hall, back here on the Avery Sports Network. Casey Stevenson looks for her second inning of work in the circle. First pitch is going to be called a ball. Stevenson's second pitch here in the second inning is going to be flied out to left field. Left fielder camped under it, and Jones makes the catch. First out there for the Cougars, and Stevenson is number 24. Number it's going to bring Mackenzie Sawanek up to the plate. Sawanek catching here in game two. And that first pitch is also going to be roped by her. Foul ball there. Rodriguez got a hand on it. Maybe could have made a play, but it's going to be in foul territory. Second pitch here from Stevenson. 0-1. Oh, that one's also going to be swung on by Sawanek and missed. Big swing through that pitch there. 0-2 oh, now for Stevenson with one out. Stevenson fires. Stevenson can't find it on that effort for strike three, but still a one-two count way ahead here. No one on base for Stevenson here, and that's going to be lined. Sorry, grounded, but a solid ground effort. Solid, <laughs> solid contact there from Sawanek. So we're going to have a one-two count with one out here in Stevenson. Looking to find it here. As that one's going to be called a ball up, though. Close pitch. Good take there by Sawanek. 2-2 two -two is the count with one out here in the inning. Stevenson working, loading, and firing. Popped up. On the dugout, so it's going to be another foul ball. A lot of foul balls here have been hit at Cougar Field. Would hate to be the one that has to retrieve them. 2-2 Two -two count with one out here. Top of the second inning. Stevenson fires. Stevenson low. So now a full count. Great at bat being put together here by Sawanek, making Stevenson work for every little bit. Full count pitch here from Stevenson. Swung on, fouled off once again. Stevenson working the ball around. Getting her grip and Swanick. Putting it a, together a quab here. Many pitches being seen of all different variations by Stevenson. Going to have some good information to take back to her team after this. Stevenson full count once again. Popped up there by Sawanek. Caught by Rodriguez. And that will be the second out of the inning here for Stevenson. Going to send number one to the plate. Gabby Gosman coming to the plate here for the captains. Nobody on, two outs. Stevenson trying to make this a quick inning of work here for her squad. First pitch there, strike. Perfect pitch inside corner. Gosman not able to pull the trigger on such an executed pitch. Stevenson yet again looking to fire at Gosman. Gosman unloads the cannon there, but fouled off. It's 
It's going to be an 0-2 count for Stevenson here. Looking for the strikeout here with two outs. Wow. Great miss there by Stevenson. Would have loved to see the strike three look in there, but to no avail. Now Stevenson here. That one's going to be popped up. And Newcomb takes it for out number three. Two innings down for Cougars defense. Seeing you leading by a score of one and nothing heading to the bottom of the second. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back here on the Averitt Sports Network after this. Is inclusive, encompassing, inspiring. Averitt University provides all you need for a future you deserve through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential with flexible online and on-campus programs like our newest programs in entrepreneurship and psychology with more coming soon with affordable tuition and 24-7 support. It all leads to you becoming a catalyst for positive change. Visit allaverett.com. Averitt University, are you all in? Leading off the bottom of the second inning for the Cougars is number 13, the catcher, Molly George. Her first pitch will be called a strike. Fired in by Kate Algier. A one pitch, and that's going to be a swing there by George. Oh, 2 here, no out in the inning. Leadoff batter down in the count quick. And that one's going to be second base grounder. And that's going to be scooped up and thrown over for out number one. George doing a good job to get that ball in play. But play is made by the second baseman. Going to bring up number one. This is McKenzie Luckenball. The first baseman coming to the plate for the Cougars. First pitch off the plate, ball one for the captains. Alger. Down in the count, 1-0, oh, and that one's going to be swung on by Luck and Ball to the second baseman once again, and a ground out there. Second ground out to second base in the second inning. Twos everywhere. Two outs as well in the inning now as Rodriguez comes up to hit for the Cougars. We got two outs here as Rodriguez to the plate, swinging first pitch. That one looks like it might fall, but it does not. And it's going to be a foul ball there for the Cougars. A one count now to Rodriguez. Alger in the circle, looking to make this a quick inning of work for her squad. That one's going to be up the middle, snared by the shortstop, and play is made at third base. Great play there by the shortstop for the captain, sending us to the top of the third inning here at Cougar Field. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after the break.
going to be Candace Slaw as Stevenson. Wow, perfectly placed bunt there by Slaw. There was just no chance there. The freshman putting on a show here today at Cougar Field with the wheels. Bunt to start the inning and a single. Now Casey Stevenson with a runner on first base in the circle. And another bunt laid down here. Good throw. Pops out of the glove of Woodleff. And the throw to third. And now everybody's moving everywhere. I thought she was about to take second base, but she did not. Number 12, Katie Curry. First and third, no outs. Commotion ensuing here as we will have a circle visit by Coach Oberhelman. A lot of commotion on that play as a bunt laid down, throw to first, not caught. And then the throw to third was safe as well at third base. So we will be right after the circle visit. See how Stevenson is able to bounce back now facing the three hole of this squad. So Stevenson now 0-0 count, fired in there. It's going to be called a ball off the plate. CNU runner looking to take second base. Not yet, though. See what kind of play they're going to put in place here. Signals being given by the third base coach. A lot can happen here in the next couple pitches, depending on what happens. Now Stevenson looking to fire once again, and that's going to be called a strike on the outside corner. Number 12 hitting. It's going to be Katie Curran already, already with an RBI double in this game. As that one's going to be called a ball off. And then George, fake throw to second, throw to third. Rodriguez catches it. Second and third here. No outs in the top of the third inning. Caroline Pollock comes to the plate here in a big spot for the captains after dropping a double there, scoring two runs. Stevenson's first pitch to the captain there, and Pollock bunted, but it's going to go for a foul ball here. It's going to be an 0-1 count here with no outs. Runner on second in the top of the third inning. Stevenson ready to throw as Pollock steps into the box. Stevenson trying to control the damage that has already happened here in this inning. And Pollock is going to foul that one off in the box. O2 oh, count for Pollock here. Stevenson firing. That one's going to be fouled off once again. See what Stevenson can do here. Way ahead in the count. O2. Oh, can't get that one in the zone. Going to be off the plate. One, two count here for Stevenson. One, two count here for Stevenson. Vital pitch on the move. 
up in the air, staying in play. Lucking Ball grabs it, snags it, one out, down. Now batting number four, Kendall Bentley. It's going to bring number four, Kendall Bentley, up to the plate here for the captains with a runner on second base and Katie Curran. First pitch is going to be off the plate for Stevenson. Four hits for the captain so far in the top to this point in the top of the third inning. Stevenson gets that one in the zone. Even in the count at ones. Stevenson firing here, and that one's going to be lined foul there. Solid piece of hitting. Now the 1 2 count here. Stevenson trying to pick up a big strikeout here in a vital point of this game. And that one's going to be fouled off yet again there. Bentley putting together in at bat here, the shortstop, number four, made a good play to end the last inning, and now see what she's able to do here at the plate. If that one's going to be off in the throw down a third, another safe call. So now the runner's on third with one out, need to be Big here, picking up the strikeout or pop out of Stevenson. And that one's going to be laced out to center. Caught by Zavik. Zavik looking for a big throw home. And that one's going to not be in time. As the run is picked up by the captains there on that sack fly. Going to have two outs. And the bases are cleared now. 4 nothing in favor of the captains. Three big runs picked up this inning. RBI double by Katie Curran led to the run scoring. And that one's going to be a ball up there for Stevenson. Facing a little bit of adversity here in this inning. Offense really needs to get the bats rolling. Make this more of a game as that one's flared out to right field. Gates camped under it. And the third out of the inning there for the Cougars. As uh, we will head to the bottom of the third inning. Avery University down score 4 to nothing in favor of the captains. My name is Shane Mickle and we'll be right back on the Avery Sports Network after this. First pitch to Jones was popped up to the right side of the field. Dropped, though, so Jones will find herself on base. Yeah. So that's going to bring up number 17, Hannah Zabik, to the plate. Gets the bunt down. Perfectly placed bunt. Stays fair, but Zabik's going to be out at first base. So the runner will advance on the bunt. By Zabik, Jones now at second base. Cougars trying to put together some offense here. Uh, it's 
going to bring up number nine, Kaylee Gates to the plate. First lefty for the Cougars here. As that one's going to go off of the plate. Gates, good eye, leaving that one. Let's see what she's able to do here with the 1 0 count. As Al Gear fires in the 1 0 pitch, fouled off by Gates. 1 1 count now for the freshman. Sorry, sophomore. Gates now, 1-1 one, one count pitch for Algier coming in the zone. Gates is going to get that one back up the middle. Fumbled a little bit by Algier. Gets the out of Gates. So we're going to have two outs within the inning and now a runner on third base in the bottom of the third. Brings number six, McKenzie Newcomb, to the plate. Freshman has seen a lot of pitches today, but not been on base for the Cougars in game one nor game two. Putting together quality at bats. Now would be the time to do so. Being able to get a run into score here is that is a ball off the plate. It's not my phone. Ahead in the count here is Newcomb. Pitch from Algier. Loading, locking, and firing. And Newcomb gets that one through the six hole. Picking up an RBI for the Cougars here on that effort. Getting the first run on the board there for the Cougars was Newcomb. The 1 0 pitch. Line through that left side. First pitch there to Taylor Sullivan was going to be a swinging strike. So now we'll have a runner on first base. Taylor Sullivan at the plate. 0-1 count here in the bottom of the third. Algier once again loading, locking, firing, and Sullivan trying to hit that pitch there. A little too outside, driving it foul. O2 pitch here, two outs in the inning. Al Gear not able to get the strike out there. Another foul ball from Sullivan. Sullivan not going to be beat by the velo here. Two strike approach allowing her to get to many different types of pitches in the zone. Sullivan now going to drive that one to left field. Left fielder looks like she has it, and she does. So that's going to be three outs in the inning for the Cougars as they tack one on the board going to the top of the fourth inning. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back here on the Avery Sports Network after this. Leading off the top. So now Stevenson's 1-0 pitch to Hall. Hall's going to foul that one off. And now it's going to be even at 1-1 here in the top of the fourth inning. Stevenson's 1-1 pitch coming to Hall here. Nobody on base. Hall's going to unload on that one into the gap in right field. Gates there. 
Hall not able to advance to second on a good throw there by Gates. Now batting number 24, Mackenzie Suwani. Finding right field there was Isabel Hall. She will be pinch ran for. It's going to be number 30 coming into the game to pinch run for Isabel Hall on first base. Going to bring Sawanik back up to the plate here. Tough at bat last time for Stevenson. Bottom of the fourth. First pitch is going to be called a strike there by Stevenson. Stevenson's 0-1 pitch to Sawanik. Here it is, and that one's going to be off the plate for ball. So it's going to be a 1-1 count here. <laughs> Stevenson's 1-1 pitch fired in the zone. That's going to be a strike, so it's going to be a 1-2 count now. Stevenson working. Really hard here against these hitters for the captains who are putting up these great at-bats against her. It's not the worst thing in the world to get a lot of experience against such a talented team early in the season as that runner will take off. George, throw down. It's going to be a ball on the pitch, and the runner advances to second base as well on the steal. Now with a runner on second base, Stevenson fires in there, and that one's going to be swung on in. Strike three there by Stevenson. Getting the first out of the inning via strikeout is very important with a runner in scoring position. Don't want to allow them to be advanced by any means. Now Gabby Gosman coming to the plate here for the captains. Stevenson's first pitch to her is going to be grounded foul, so going to get ahead in the count early there on that one. Stevenson's 0-1 pitch fired in the zone there. A little check swing flare caught by Newcomb. It's going to get the second out of the inning for Stevenson, trying to send us to a bottom of the fourth here. Batting number two, Candice Law. Candice Law coming to the plate here. Been a spark plug for this offense so far. A little slap hitter leading off this captain squad. And that one's going to be hit over to the shortstop and Newcomb going to be called safe at first base. Electric speed there shown by Slaw. It's going to bring up Katrina Swan, number 13. Another freshman here for the captains making a big impact. Stevenson 0-0 oh, oh, count to her. Working, ready, loading and firing to Swans, picking up the first strike. As we'll have some commotion on the bases, the runner's coming for and a throw down. No one's at second base. Work to perfection there from the captains. Strike on the pitch. Runners taken off, creating commotion for this Cougars defense. I think it's the 
design to do a double steal for that reason. Oh, you do pick that up, right? As we will have a circle visit happening after that, Stevenson will be coming out of the game, and number three, Abby Sutton, will find herself in the circle here. We'll be right back on the Everett Sports Network after this break. So after the circle visit between ooh. after the circle visit between the Cougars, Abby Sutton will now be in the game to pitch, and she's going to fire for her first strike there. Sutton, the freshman out of Graham, North Carolina. Oh, two count here. Two outs in the inning. Sutton loading back, firing. It's going to be a ball low. Sneaks by George. Runner's going to advance to third base on that effort. Sutton with a one two count here now. Looking to end the inning. And that one's going to be grounded there. Swan still at the plate here. Mid at bat. Pitching change for the Cougars. Sutton in the circle here. Looks, fires, almost takes out the legs of the batter. It's going to be 2-2 two -two now here. Sports up, Newcomb, Newcomb fires and ends the inning there for the Cougars. Captains do lead 5-1. We'll be right back on the Avery Sports Network after this. Leading off the inning here for the Cougars is going to be number 12, Cadence Woodliff. As she unloads on the first pitch, popped out to left field. Left fielder looks, camped, and is. Corrals it in for out number one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Molly George's first pitch she sees, she swings at and misses. It's going to be an 0-1 count now. Oh one one count here for George. George now at the plate. Going to be called a ball off there. 
It's one to one. Five nothing. Sorry, five to one in favor of the captains. One one count with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. George at the plate. Gonna be a ball low there. Good take there by George. At the ankle is not able to do much with that pitch. Alger now in the circle. Planting, loading, locking, firing another low pitch there. Three to one. Doesn't want to put George on. Nothing given for free here for the captains. Firing in here is Algier. As that one is fouled off by George once again. Full count now. Full count here for George. George sees it and takes strike three. Now batting number one, Mackenzie. It's going to be two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning between the captains and the Cougars after that strikeout. Alger in the circle, wheeling and dealing for the captains. Luckin' Ball takes the first pitch there for a ball. Second pitch to Luckin' Ball here, and that's also going to be another ball. A little bit of deja vu there. They were almost identical pitches. Luckin' Ball now, third pitch of the at-bat for her. Another ball. 3-0 count here. Algier kind of losing it this at-bat. Pitch here from Algier. Little bit of confusion, but that one was also called a ball. So four straight there from Algier is going to put Luck and Ball on first. Brings up number 16 here for the Cougars, Angela Rodriguez, coming to the plate once again here in game two. Rodriguez has been aggressive at the plate so far today. Swinging at the first pitch to the right fielder. Curran catches that one for out number three, taking us to the top of the fifth inning here at Cougar Field. Be right back on the Everett Sports Network after this.
Entering the top of the fifth inning between the Cougars and the captains, Abby Sutton in the circle for the Cougars, and it's going to be number 12, Katie Curran, hitting for the captains. Two RBI doubles for her on the day. Big swing and miss there from Curran. Curran responsible for three of the runs. And I want to say she is one of the runs herself for this captain squad. So having a day here in Danville, Virginia. See what Sutton can do here. Because that one's going to be a ball high. So it's going to be a 1-1 one, one count here. Sutton looking, reaching, firing. Curran lining that one up, popping it up. And caught there by Rodriguez to record the first out of the inning, keeping Curran at bay. Number 31, Caroline Pollock. Now Caroline Pollock at the plate here facing against Abby Sutton as that one's going to be called a ball inside. So a 1-0 count here. Sutton fires and that one's going to be swung on and missed. Sutton 1-1 one, one. coming here. That one's going to be popped up yet again. Looking ball there. Looking ball with the crap. Sorry, grab. It's going to be two outs there for the Cougars. Cougars now with two outs. Nobody on base here in the top of the fifth inning. Abby Sutton, two quick outs. Facing the shortstop here for this captain squad. And that one's gonna be a ball for the first pitch of the at bat. Sutton here, 1-0 is the count, two outs. And that one's also gonna be another ball. Another close pitch there by Sutton. Sutton rearing back and firing her 2-0 pitch for a strike. Back into the zone there. Now 2-1 count still in favor of the hitter. Sutton now firing with a 2-1 count. Now one's going to be popped out to center field. Zabik under it. Zabik makes the catch, sending us to a bottom of the fifth inning between the Averitt University Cougars and the CNU Captains. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after this.
Coming up to the plate for the Cougars here to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning is number 20, Hannah Jones. Jones is going to take that first pitch for a ball. Good eye by Jones, allowing herself to get ahead in the count here against someone who's been dealing for the captains and Kate Al Algier. Sorry, Kate Alger. And that's going to be called a strike on the inside corner. Alger throwing up some zeros here against the Cougars who did find a run in the last inning, or sorry, two innings ago off a hit by McKenzie Newcomb. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Jones. Jones is going to swing, go fishing for that one, and foul it off. So now a 1-2 count for Jones here. Very quick innings have been had by the CNU captain's defense so far, keeping the Cougars at bay to one run on the day. And that one's going to be lined up the middle by Jones, who picks up her uh, base hit here, first hit of the game. That's going to bring up Hannah Zabik, number 17, the sophomore. Possibility for a bunt being laid down here with the speed of Zabik and Jones on base. Zabik swings at the first pitch, going to be called a strike because she swung at it. So it's going to be 0-1 here for Zabik at the plate. Runner on first base here, number 17. Fouls that one off, so another strike. Going to be down 0-2 in the count. O2 count here for Zabik. Runner on first base. Algier dealing all day. See if she can keep on par. Zabik does a good job to get to that pitch. Fights that one off. A tough battle there for the sophomore. Up and in. A little bit of sweet chin music, some might call it. But good job of getting the bat on that ball. Zavik now 0-2 pitch up in the air. That one's going to stay and be caught by the catcher for the first out of the inning. Bringing to the plate number nine, Kaylee Gates with one out in the inning. Another sophomore for the Cougars. Swinging on the first pitch is Gates. Swing through it. Swing. Gates looking to be big here and looking to get the bunt down. Throw down. Going to be called safe there, a stolen bag for Jones. Missed the bun opportunity, but Jones still safe anyways. Going to need to be doing some laundry after that slide. Good throw down there from the catcher, making that competitive. Now it's going to be Gates, 0-2 count, ball out. Good eye by Gates, leaving that one there. Runner in scoring position for the sophomore, 1-2 count. Need to have a little piece of hitting here. And that one's going to be sprayed, foul to the left side. Okay. 
Alger loading, locking, and firing the one-two. Ball outside. Two two pitch here to Gates. Gates is going to foul that one straight back into the backstop. Putting it back together is the sophomore, Kaylee Gates, seeing a lot of different pitches, trying to drive something in between the lines and give her team another run here. As that one's another ball off the plate. Gates doing a good job of making something out of nothing after falling back in this count 0-2, now at full. Gates here. Takes strike three after a great at bat. Got the press box shaking with her walk-up music is number six, Mackenzie Newcomb. Responsible for the only RBI for the Cougars on the day. See if she can tally another one here. Newcomb's going to take that first pitch, and Jones is going to advance to third. So making it even easier on her there are the captains. Now Newcomb, the battle of the sixes at play here. Alger's pitch to Newcomb is going to be a ball inside. Newcomb in the box, ready to swing, but taking that 2 0 strike. Now it's going to be 2-1 hitters count for Newcomb. Wants to see something and wants to drive it here with a runner on third base. Gets that up in the air. Might fall, might fall. But the center fielder takes that one in, sending us to a top of the sixth inning. At the score of 5-1. Avery University is down four to the CNU captains. My name is Shane Mickle, and we'll be right back on the Avery Sports Network. Here in the top of the sixth inning back on the Averett Sports Network, Abby Sutton is throwing her first pitch for a ball. It's going to be number 15 for the CNU captains hitting number 15. It's going to be Sammy Drew at the plate. 
Another ball fired in by Sutton. Two zero count here for Drew. A lot of opportunity for her to do something here on this pitch. Way ahead in the account. It's going to be a ball fired inside there from Sutton. Sutton's 3-0 pitch to Drew. That's going to be called for a strike. Automatic take there from Drew. Sutton looking, locking, firing there for the second strike. Now we're at a full count here. Full count pitch here from Sutton is going to be flied out to center field. Zavik under it. Zavik makes the grab for the first out of the inning. Great snag there from the sophomore laying out full extension. Picking up and out for her pitcher. Isabel Hall now coming to the plate to face Abby Sutton. First strike from Sutton. It's going to be called. Sorry, first pitch is going to be called a strike on the inside corner. Sutton now 0 1 pitch. One out in the inning. That one's going to be skied up there. It's going to be way out of the zone for a 1-1 count now here. Sutton doing a great job of keeping this CNU offense at bay after they exploded for five innings in the first four innings. Sorry, five runs in the first four innings. Sutton once again, perfect drop ball right in the zone. Finding herself ahead in the count now, 1-2. One-two pitch here from Sutton. Gets the swing, but foul tipped there by Hall. Sutton looking to pick up and out here. One-two count. Not able to get a swing on the riser. 2-2 two, two count now for the freshman. Sutton's 2-2 two, two pitch is going to be grounded. Newcomb lays out for it, but not able to get it cleanly. As that's going to be a hit through the left side. Pinch runner will come in for Isabel Hall. That's number 11, Reagan Luby, going to first base. Reagan Lubby, sorry about that. So a pinch runner at first base and number 29 at the plate for the captains. Marley Hoffler. Swinging on the first pitch she sees. Going to be fouled out of play. Sutton now 0-1 pitch. 
That one's going to be swung on and missed. Now it's going to be an 0-2 count here for the freshman. Sutton way ahead in the count. That one's going to be a ball inside. Almost wanted the back pick was luck and ball. Runners taken off, throw down. Jones, I'm sorry, Newcomb not able to handle that one on the ball. Runners take second base there. Sutton now 2-2 two -two pitch. It's going to be swung on and fouled off there. Two two pitch here by Sutton with one out, right back to her. Gonna leave it, and that's gonna be an infield single there. First and third with one out. Number one, Gabby Gosman. That's gonna bring Gabby Gosman to the plate here. In a big spot with runners on first and third and one out. Sutton's 0-0 pitch as the stolen base commences. And now runners on first and second. Sorry, second and third. An 0-1 count. A one pitch from Sutton. Falls in for a strike. Sutton doing a good job of getting ahead in the count, but needs to be able to finish off the batters when she has them where she wants them. Sutton's 0-2 pitch here. And that's going to be high for ball one. Sutton not able to find it there with the 1 2 pitch either. One out, 2 2 count. Two two pitch from Sutton here. That's going to be shot out to center field. It's going to be a play at the plate. And the catcher, George, is not able to hold on to that one. Allowing a run to score there. It's going to be 6-1 to one in favor of the captains on that sack fly. Good throw from Zabik. Maybe being able to corral the throw would have led to an out at home, but now we're going to have a runner on third base with two outs. Sutton's 0-0 pitch. It's going to be lined to left field. And Jones trouble with it, but makes the grab to send us to the bottom of the sixth inning. Cougars down by a score of 6-1. to one. We'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this.
lost our catcher. Seeming like some technical difficulties with the catcher. Ah, forgot the pitch com. Uh, not too sure about the pitch com, but I'm sure you kind of need that. So we're going to be here in the bottom of the sixth inning as Taylor Sullivan starts us off there with a swing and a foul ball. So it's going to be an 0-1 count here in the bottom of the sixth as the Avery University Cougars find themselves down five runs by a score of 6-1. to one. Out, Al Gear on the mound for the captain still putting in that work finds herself in an 0-2 count. Able to have some fun with this one as no runners are on base and a lot of pitches to work with for the captains. And Sullivan's going to get rang up looking there on that inside fastball. So it's going to be the first out there for the Cougars as Woodliff is now going to be at the plate here with one out looking to make something happen here for her squad in the bottom of the six. Not much time left to be able to chalk some runs on that board. Woodliff is going to spray that one out to short, and that's not going to be cleanly fielded there by the shortstop. First pitch aggressive there from the freshman. So now number 13, Molly George, will be at the plate there. And that's going to be a ball off there for George. Good eye. Not allowing herself to fall behind the count here. And George is going to swing at that one. It looks like a little bit of a protective swing, trying to protect herself there. George now in a 1-1 count with a runner on first base. Pitch here to George. Going to be swung on and fouled off once again. Really hitting that inside corner is Algier. One, two pitch here, and that's going to be swung on and missed by George. Going to give us two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Luck and ball at the plate there. Going to take the first pitch inside. Second pitch to Luckin' Ball will be called a strike on the corner. Need to put some at-bats together here late in the game. Another strike called there on Luckin' Ball. Caught the outside corner again, putting her in a hole at 1-2. One, two, pitch to Luckin' Ball is going to be grounded over to the shortstop. Trouble handling that one as well.
Got runners on first and second for Angela Rodriguez coming to the plate here. Rodriguez takes the first pitch. I want to say that's the first pitch she has taken all day. Been very aggressive at the plate. Shadows coming in, doing some weird things to the eyes of the hitters potentially. Rodriguez here at the plate, 0-1. Another called strike there, 0-2 early in the count. <clears throat> so now it's going to be an 0-2 pitch here to Rodriguez. Rodriguez is going to flare that one foul to the left side. O2 pitch here from Alger going in to Rodriguez who fouls that one off once again. Rodriguez here at the plate. It's going to be a ball low there for her. One, two pitch here coming from Alger. And that's going to be grounded over to the shortstop yet again. Who that's cannot make plays and sliding in there is Woodliff, who's safe at home, takes advantage of miscues in the infield. Have a circle visit here and take a break on the Averett Sports Network. Back here after the circle visit. Have runners on first and second after the Cougars chalked one on and a ball to Hannah Jones. Some defensive miscues have allowed the Cougars to create a run here in this inning. Jones now at the plate once again. 1-0 count to her. Looks ready to hit. And is, is trying to get that one up the middle. And the... Final play is out at second base. Shortstop for the captains gets that one to them. Ending the inning and sending us to a top of the seventh. We'll be right back here on the Averett Sports Network after this.
Leading off the inning for the captains is going to be Katrina Swan, who faces off against Abby Sutton in her th third inning of work. Sutton's first pitch is going to be ruled a ball as that one was up and out of the zone. One inning left to play unless the Cougars try their best to play spoiler here against the captains. Sutton's second pitch is going to be called a strike inside. Sutton looking for it again. Bounces that one to the plate. That's definitely a ball there. Two one pitch here from Sutton. That one's going to be fouled off there. Sutton here with a 2-2 count. No outs in the inning. That one's going to be flared out, and Luckenball makes the grab for the first out. Now batting number 12, Katie Curran. So it's going to bring up Katie Curran, who, came, who takes the first ball there from Abby Sutton. Sutton's second pitch to Curran is going to be in the zone, called for a strike. One one count here from Sutton to Curran. That's gonna be a ball up. Not able to corral corral it in the zone there is Sutton. Two one count here to Curran, who's been dangerous at the plate all day. Two for three with three RBIs to her name. Curran almost gets a hold of that one as that will be fouled off for yet another strike. Two two count here for Curran. Sutton in the circle. Sutton firing. And that one dropped into the zone, but fouled off once again by Curran. <clears throat> Sutton's 2-2 once again. Could not drop into the zone there. Going to be a full count now. Sutton's full count pitch there is going to be a walk to Curran. Now batting number 31, Caroline Pollock. Brings Caroline Pollock to the plate here now. Runner on first with one out in the inning.
It's going to be a ball from the first pitch. Sutton not able to find it. Back-to-back -back pitches there. Sutton's 1-0 pitch. The runner takes off. George with the throw down. Snagged by Newcomb. No strike. She swung. 1-1 one, one count here with one out in the top of the seventh. Sutton here firing. Lined out in the right field gap. Gates gets there, mishandles it. Runner gets to second. So batting number four, Kendall Beckett. Great piece of hitting there by Pollock. Now Bentley coming to the plate here. Sutton still in the circle for the Cougars. First pitch here from Sutton. It's going to be a ball inside. Sutton now can't get that one in the zone. A lot of velocity behind that one. Sutton's going to fire that pitch in. It gets fouled off there. It's going to be a 2-1 count now here. Still an advantage of the hitter. Good eye there from Bentley being able to take that pitch. 3-1 count now with a runner on second base. Nothing hurt on a walk here, but still want to be able to pick up an out without some bleeding happening. And there's a walk there from Sutton. Putting runners on first and second here. Nobody number 15, Sonny Drew. Sutton's first pitch here in the 0-0 count. It's going to be called a strike on the inside. Sutton now 0-1 count, one out. That one's going to be a ball up. Sutton needing to get her team in that dugout, be able to light a fire here. That one's going to be flared out over the head of the shortstop. Jones is not going to be able to get that one in. Throws it into the first baseman, and we will have bases loaded here with one out. Body number 43, Meredith Brickner. Time will be called. We will have a circle visit, and we'll be right back here on the Everett Sports Network after the break.
So a little bit of a circle visit there, just trying to keep the energy solid between the defense and Sutton is going to fire in here with the bases loaded. And that's going to get through the six hole. Runner's going to come around to score. Jones with a throw through the legs. And everybody advances and some there. Two RBI hit for the captains. On Sutton's first pitch, and now Hoffler is going to come to the plate with runners in scoring position. Cougars defense letting this get out of hand here. Going to have to work hard to come back in that last inning. One O pitch here from Sutton. That's gonna fall out of the zone. Sutton's gonna fire there and misses once again. Three balls here for the freshman. Sutton with a 3-0 count here in a deep hole. Fires that one for a strike. Sutton here, runners on second and third. That's going to be a foul ball. Bailed out a little bit there on that pitch. Great miss there from Sutton. It's going to load the bases here with one out in the inning. So a little bit of substitutions being made. As a new pitcher here will come into the game, Casey Stevenson it will go back into the circle for the Cougars. We'll be right back on the Averitt Sports Network after this. After the circle visit, Casey Stevenson checks back into the circle. And now we'll try and get the Cougars out of this inning after that first pitch is fouled off to the left side.
Stevenson now. That one's going to be laced up the middle. Caught by Zabik. Runners having to tag, so no advancement there by them. Stevenson gets the second out of the inning. Bringing up the leadoff hitter for the captains, who's been on fire in game one and two. Having what some might call a day, Candace Slaw. Bases juiced for her here against Casey Stevenson. Tries to get that one, but going to foul it off on the slap attempt. Stevenson here in the circle, 0-1 count. Gets that one up into the air, sky towards Zavik, flying for it and taking it down for out number three. Sending us to a bottom of the seventh inning here. Averett University down by a score of nine to two. My name is Shane Mickle and we'll be right back on the Averett Sports Network after this. Leading off the bottom of the seventh for the Averitt University Cougars will be the sophomore, number 17, Hannah Zabik. Zabik in center field has been flying around all day today. See if she can get it done on the offensive side of things. As the first pitch of the inning will be a swing and a miss by Zabik. A one pitch here to Zabik fouled off for strike two. Zabik now in the box, 0 2 count. Very wild pitch there. Very wild pitch. A lot of velocity and break on it. Zabik, the sophomore in the box for the Cougars. Takes that pitch off the plate for a ball. Trying to get Zabik swinging there with two strikes at play, but now back at even in the count. Zabik gonna ground that one. It's gonna take a bad hop on the second baseman and Zabik finds first base clean. Oh, 
Brings up number nine, Kaylee Gates here. Gates is going to take that first pitch for a ball. See what Gates is able to do here with Zabik on first. Grounds that one over and is going to get there. And that's back-to-back -back singles there for the Cougars. Brings up number six here for the Cougars, Mackenzie Newcomb. One RBI to her name so far in this first, second game. Takes the first pitch for a ball there. Second pitch here to Newcomb. Newcomb's going to ground that one foul, though. Wanted to get a good piece on that. Newcomb here in the box, ready for her third pitch. Swings and misses on that one, one, two count. And Newcomb's gonna strike out there for the first out of the inning. It's gonna be one out with runners on first and second, and Taylor Sullivan finds herself at the plate. Oh, oh, count here to Sullivan in the bottom of the seventh. It's gonna be a ball wide. Pitch here to Sullivan. Sullivan's going to take that one for a strike. <clears throat> Sullivan here going to ground that one. Called her safe on the tag. Off the bag at second. Zabik thought she was out. Stays on the bag. Bases are juiced here for the Cougars. <laughs> Circle visit here for the captains. Coach Keith Parr for the captains just wants a little explanation as to what went down there. Bringing up Cadence Woodliffe with the bases juiced here for the Cougars. Woodlift, that's going to be a ball out of the zone. <sighs> 
1-0 count here for Woodliff against the captains. Looking to get a good swing on that one, but going to miss it. 1-1 one, one count here for the freshman. Woodliff's pitch. Sorry, Woodliff swing once again. No good as she swings and misses. It's now a 1-2 count. Pitch here from Callahan, gonna be called low. Callahan's pitch here took Cadence Woodliff. Another ball there. Full count with one out here. Pressure on the pitcher as Woodliff is in the box. And that one's going to be a ball to walk in a run. Cougars pick up one run there for free. So it's bringing up Molly George to the plate here with the bases juiced in his 0-1 count. One out here in the inning. A lot for the Cougars to be able to do. Need to scratch and claw some runs together here as George is at the plate. George is going to swing and miss on that one. Now it is an 0-2 count in favor of the captains. George in a hole here, really needs to put on some defensive swings and a two strike approach. And George is gonna foul that one off. Keeping the bat alive here. George here. Two strikes on her, takes strike three in the zone. Luck and ball now at the plate with two outs here. Base is juice. Gonna take that first pitch for a strike. Luck and ball here, 0-1 oh, count. Swings, lines it through the right side. One's run's gonna score. Second one comes around to score. And it's a two RBI single there for McKenzie Luck and ball. Now number 16, Angela Rodriguez at the plate here. Rodriguez swings first pitch, gonna be fouled to the right side. Almost caught that foul line. Pitch here to Rodriguez. It's going to be called for a ball off the plate. Now Rodriguez here at the plate. 
swings and misses. One, two, count, two out. Cougars down nine to five here. Every pitch after this is now a big pitch for the Cougars trying to stay alive here in this contest. And we're gonna swing. Rodriguez safe on the drop third strike. So now number 20, Hannah Jones, will be here to hit. She's going to swing. Slow roller by Jones. It's going to be called out, and that will end the game here in seven innings between the Avery University Cougars and the captains of Christopher Newport University. My name is Shane Mickle. And the captains take both games here at Cougar Field against Avery University. We'll be back here on the Averett Sports Network another night.